piano play it Ubububu.com We're going to change the arrangement of each verse, of each chorus, in order to create a development in the way we play the piano. So it's going to be interesting. Let's go! So the first thing we're going to do when playing If I Were A Boy by Beyonce is getting to know the four chords which we are going to repeat through the whole song almost. So the first chord we're going to play is an E flat minor. That means we're going to press on E flat in the left hand, G flat in the right hand, and B flat in the right hand. Right? Then we're gonna move to a B in the left hand, and here we're gonna go to E flat, G flat, and D flat. That chord is called B add 9. This is a plain B chord, and this is the ninth of the chord. If you wanna check what the ninth is more carefully, you can go to my website on the piano chord section. Then we're gonna move to G flat. Here is the G flat. And here we're gonna stay on G flat and B flat, but we're gonna add, we're gonna add the D flat as well. For the last chord, we're gonna play a D flat chord with a nine. That's the nine E flat. With the third is F and A flat. That's a nice chord, huh? So it sounds something like this: If I were a boy, even just for a day. I draw a lot of bed and so on. Now that we are familiar with the chords, I'd like to show you how we're gonna play the verse for the first time, the quiet verse. So we have E flat right in the left hand and G flat and B flat in the right hand. What we're gonna do is press with our fifth finger on E flat, with the second finger on B flat, and then going back to E flat. And what we're gonna do here is actually E flat, counting and quint up, which is one, two, three and a half tones. So let's see. Zero, half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. And then going back to the tonic. So we have tonic, fifth tonic. Then we're gonna go to B add nine. And we're gonna play B, the quint, again three and a half tones, and again to B. We're gonna move to G flat and we're gonna do the same. Fifth, sorry, the fifth finger but the tonic, tonic, fifth degree on the second finger and to G flat. And we play now G flat, D flat, and G flat. And then we're gonna go to the D flat at nine. So we're gonna play D flat, A flat, D flat on the fifth, second, and first finger. And we're gonna repeat this. If I were a boy, second, first. Fifth, second, first, G flat, second, first, D flat at nine, second, first, of the bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. Drink beer with the guys. All right. In the second verse, we're gonna repeat what we did in the first verse with the left hand. E flat, B flat, E flat, only we're gonna add another chord when we achieve, when we reach the next E flat. So it looks like this. One and alone, two, and then we're gonna go to the next chord. Together, left, together, 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 together, left,
together and laugh together, together and laugh together, together. Drink beer with the guys and chase after girls. Laugh together, together, laugh together, together, laugh together, together. I'd kick in with who I'd wanted And I'd never get confronted for it Together, left, together Together, left, together Together, left, together Together, left, together Alright, so that's what we're gonna do with the second verse and then we reach the chorus. In the chorus we're gonna change the way we look at things. We're not gonna play the first degree, fifth degree with the second hand and the first degree again with the fourth hand, but we're gonna play a bass. A bass which does something like this. We're gonna play the pure bass, E flat, going to B with the second hand, G flat with the fifth hand, and D flat with the second finger because we wanna keep an extra finger to go again to the E flat. And again. All right? And to this we're gonna add a certain groove just a bit. We're gonna do one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Alright, why do I say one and two? Because on the two we're gonna add the chord in the right hand, so we do one and two, one and two, one and two, D flat one and two, E flat one and two, B one and two, going to G flat and two, D flat and two. And now comes the second part of the chorus. What we're gonna do instead of playing just one and two, we're gonna play octaves. So we're gonna move with the first and fifth finger through the whole process. One and two, one and two, one and two. Get it? One and two. I show you again with the right hand. This time I'm gonna play the right chords. So we're gonna play one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. So we got um, an extra depth in the left hand which is giving us the rock feeling that the song contains. What we can do to make it even extra nice is playing one and one and two and one and chaka chaka one and chaka chaka one and chaka chaka one and chaka chaka. So why do I say the chaka chaka? You have to count it uh, in your heart, but you have to hear it. It's important to be to count when you're playing the piano. So we have one and chaka chaka in the ka. In the last car of the chaka chaka, you're playing the one and chaka chaka 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 one and. All right. When I'm going from the chorus to the bridge, I have to play something like that. Or actually, when I'm going from the ending of the first chorus back to the first verse, I'm gonna play the same. Instead of going E flat, going to B add 9, going to G flat, going to D flat, add 9, so that's where I'm ending up, I'm gonna go to a B, add 9 for two more bars, and everything you had got destroyed, alright, when I played everything you had got destroyed, I'm actually doing the same, 1 and chaka chaka 1 and chaka chaka 1 and chaka chaka 1 and chaka chaka. In the left chaka chaka I can take a passing note from B to B flat and just repeat the same chord. It doesn't matter even what kind of passing chord it is, it's just a passing chord that will lead us to the last part, to the bridge. And what is the bridge? First let's discuss the chords, then we're going to discuss the groove. So that was more or less If I Were A Boy by Beyoncé. After finishing the bridge we just go to a last verse which is similar to the first verse in the chords and in the way we play the first verse and then you're finishing the song. I hope you enjoyed this piano tutorial. Join me in my next piano tutorial in pianoplay.com. I'm David. See you. Bye bye. But you're just a boy.